Make one guarantee about the, the following presentation. I'm with two guys who have never picked up a tab in their life. When you see Doug Buffon, you think about all the years of football brilliance. What comes to mind besides taking a nap? When he walked in my hot dog stand in 1992, here's a guy that I idolized as a kid growing up. Doug and I have been friends for many years. We've had 99% wonderful things, except the night Doug threw me up against a dumpster because I was a little bit carried away. Doug Buffon, my friend, my friend for 45 years. Passionate, nails tough, a hunk of gristle out of Western Pennsylvania who spent 14 splendid years with the Chicago Bears. And there is a generation of football fans who really don't know about Doug Buffon, the player, but know all about Uncle Dougie, the radio man who tagged team with Ed Obradovich, whose post-game radio rants about the Bears became appointment radio, if you will. You tell me what's going on out there when that team can take a football and drive it down your throat. At least hold them to a field goal. This is moronic. We're going to get our whipped all the way down the line. I've had it. I have had it. The fact of the matter is there are a lot of people who only know Doug from his radio days with a score and really don't know what this football player was all about. Don't know about his resiliency. Don't know about his passion. Don't know about his courage. Don't know about his toughness. I'm so proud to tell you people about a book that I had the good fortune to write over the past year, Buffon, Monster of the Midway. Now, coming up at the National Sports Collectors Show, beginning on July 29th and running through August 2nd, we'll be having a special preseason kickoff of Buffon, Monster of the Midway. We'd love to have you stop out, gaze at the book, and also sign a banner showing your love, your allegiance to the man who wore number 55 for the Bears for those 14 years, which we intend to give to Virginia McCaskey, George McCaskey, and the folks up at Hallis Hall. <laughs>